Imagine a world where only one person believed in God. That's the way that the world used to be. In Pasha Toldot, we get introduced to the world's second monotheist, Isaac. Isaac's wife, Rebecca, would have two sons, twin boys, and this wouldn't be your average pregnancy. The twins inside of her were running after each other. They were beating each other. They were crushing each other. When she would walk past a house of idolatry, one of the twins would start kicking from one side. When she would walk past the house of Torah study, the other twin would start kicking from the other side. She asked all the women in her village, why am I like this? And none of the women in her village had an answer, so she had to go ask God. And God told Shame, the prophet, you have two nations within you. They're always going to be fighting each other. Eventually, one is going to serve the other. The elder is going to serve the younger. The older one would come out all covered in hair and all colored red, and he would grow up to be wicked, a spiller of blood, a hunter, and his name would be Esau. The younger twin would come out completely hairless and would be a dweller of tents, someone who was connected to God, someone who was connected to spirituality. He would be a righteous man and his name would be Jacob. Usually, all the spiritual blessings that a father will bestow onto his children go through the firstborn. That's called the birthright. The birthright was mainly a spiritual benefit. It didn't necessarily come with money or inheritance rights. It was the transmission of the spiritual energy from the father to the children. And with the birthright, the child would have a lot more spiritual power than without it. Jacob realized that Esau was the firstborn, and he, being wicked, wasn't deserving of all these spiritual blessings. His wife, Rebecca, realized that too. So Rebecca decided to come up with a scheme by which Isaac would give the birthright to the righteous son, Jacob, and not the wicked son, Esau. But to do that without Esau's knowledge would be stealing. So Jacob, realizing that Esau didn't see all of the spiritual blessings which would come from the birthright, convinced Esau to sell the birthright. Now something that's so precious and such a spiritual power, you would think would go for a high value. Esau sold his birthright for one bowl of soup. And it was at that point, once he realized all of the things that he had given away for so little, that Esau began to despise the birthright and it was then that he began to despise his brother Jacob and began to plot to kill him. A running theme throughout Parshat Toldot is the idea that's expressed in the third chapter of the book of Proverbs. Trust in God and do not rely on your own understanding. Isaac marries Rebecca. After that, 10 years of him sitting and waiting and hoping his wife's going to get pregnant, he asks God, she gets pregnant with twins. During her pregnancy, Rebecca goes around and asks everyone else, why is she going through her weird, crazy pregnancy with these twins who are fighting? She asks God. She finds out what's going on in her body. Isaac thinks that his older son is going to be the spiritual progenitor who's going to carry the birthright. God has a different plan. He ends up giving the spiritual blessing to the younger son who deserved it the whole time. We don't have all the answers, and when you start to rely on your own understanding, that's when you start to have problems, and that's when things don't go your way.